So in this video, I want to talk about HTML, CSS, just do a little review. I talk about some tags um, and to get started, open your text editor and uh, I will be using Atom and go ahead and create a index.html document. First off, we need some HTML tags and Atom comes with this super cool shorthand uh, shortcut, I should say, uh, where you can type HTML, hit enter, and you will get this snippet of code uh, for your document. And I just want to uh, go through some of these tags and talk about them. Uh, first tag that I want to uh, point out is this doc type that HTML. It's a very important tag in your document. It means that your document, uh, your code is written in HTML5 format. The next tag is the head tag and the body tag. Body tag has all of your content, images, paragraphs, uh, text, buttons, links, videos, whatever you want un, uh, to show on the page, you put inside the body tag. And the head tag has all the settings for the content of the page. So if you want to add some styles to your content, uh, that this is where you put your uh, CSS uh, styles. Let's just go ahead and add some dummy uh, CSS file. A good rule of thumb is to make some comments and indicate that below will be some CSS files. And then just add some uh, dummy CSS file. Also, we are uh, going to add some dummy JavaScript file. Uh, in order to do that, we'll go to the end of the body tag, add a comment for JavaScript and add the JavaScript itself. And call it yes forward slash main dot js. One thing to remember is uh, the order in which uh, the document is being rendered. Basically, a browser will go line by line and read uh, the code and you can see that I have JavaScript at the very bottom of the body tag. Uh, it's very smart way of putting JavaScript at the bottom because uh, when your browser is going to read line by line, first it will load the styles, then it will load the content of the body, uh, content of the web page, it will load the images which will be styled already since the styles are already loaded uh, then it will load paragraph text buttons links videos whatever and then it will load uh, JavaScript the thing with the JavaScript that JavaScript is a scripting language it has functions it has variables it's more heavy and more uh, power consuming like computing power consuming than uh, CSS or just HTML so it needs more time browser needs more time to load JavaScript and having it at the bottom will not interact or interfere uh, with loading uh, the rest of the document. So the you know, browser will load all of the document, the user will see the page and while he is scrolling down, the browser will continue to load the JavaScript files. So this is very important to keep your JavaScript files at the very bottom of your body tag. Next, I want to talk about some HTML tags. And uh, in order to do that, let's just go ahead and remove this dummy code that we added. Instead of it, I want to add a style tag. Style tag will have uh, the styles that will be applied only to this document. They will not be applied to any other document. So let's create a uh, rule to select every element uh, in our web page and give it a red border. To do that, we press this key and add a red border. One pixel, solid, red. So now let's add two more tags. We're going to add a div tag. Uh, label it. This is a div. Also, we're going to add a span tag.
basically in HTML there are two different uh, type types of uh, tags there is a block element tag and an inline element tag block element tag will stretch 100% of the parent's container of the in our case the parent is the body element and this div will be stretched 100% of the body uh, element and span will stretch 100% of its content so it will stretch not further than the text that it has uh, let's just go ahead and have a look at uh, what we have let's save this document and open our browser and go to this uh, web page so this is what we have we can see that uh, there is some small border around our body tag uh, and we did not set a not border but um, margin and we did not set any margin all we did is just added a border uh, one pixel uh, to all of our elements but if we look in our browser there is a margin around the document uh, in order to debug this or inspect it uh, each browser has a developer tool in order to open the developer tool in google chrome you go ahead and click on this menu click on more tools click on developer tool and if your developer tool is on the right you can dock it at the bottom by clicking uh, this menu inside of the developer tool and choose the docking option that uh, you are most comfortable with so let's inspect and find out why this uh, margin is around our document you can click this arrow and hover over the document and you can see that we got margin 8 pixels and it came from user agent style sheet user agent style sheet is a style sheet from the browser so if you don't need a pixel uh, margin around your body then you need to override it otherwise uh, google chrome in this case will just uh, put uh, their own styles on your web page so the thing to remember is that every browser has their own style sheet applied to your web page and if uh, you want to override those styles uh, you should go ahead and override override them otherwise the browser will apply their own styles to your uh, document so the last thing that i want to talk about is uh, attributes of the tags uh, basically attribute is uh, any information that is available inside of the tag and what i mean by inside of the tag is inside of like these this tag so we have a closing uh, opening angle bracket we have a closing angle bracket we have html the name of the tag and this stuff is an attribute this is an attribute this is an attribute so attribute usually looks like this there's a name of the attribute equal sign uh, parentheses i mean quotes and inside those quotes uh, some sort of value so we can see that class is an attribute also we know that id is an attribute uh, also you can create your own attributes by uh, prefixing them with data and calling it whatever you want uh, and uh, have it an equal sign open up quotes and just whatever one two three also there is attributes that don't have any value to it they just there inside of your tag uh, such attributes are for example hidden and if we save this document and refresh our web page we can see that uh, this div is hidden and it's not being displayed and we can see that user agent style sheet has been overwritten and it's not uh, displayed anymore um, so these this attribute hides the element and it uh, does not require any value to it but for uh, our case let's just remove this and talk about id attributes basically id attribute is a very unique attribute 
it cannot be uh, reproduced or repeated in, inside of the same page so if you're gonna have id one two three over here and you want to have the same id uh for this uh tag for this pen uh this will give you a problem with uh, like javascript or some valid html validation so id is very unique it should be only uh, it should be only once in a web page should not be repeated